Cosmeric Leaf Infused in Place. From Allomancy to Surge Binding, there's a lot to look out for. We're your hosts and escorts to the realms. I'm Griff. And I'm Alex. And, and this, this is, is the Silverlight Silver Guide, Guide to the Cosmere. Uh, this is the other one I tested. Oh my gosh. You only get one, but I pulled up 50,000. There you go. Thank you. That's the other one that I tested. Is this? It is not on. Oh. They are not on. Oh. This one is. That one is on? It's, yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, hello. Hello. All right. If you haven't gotten a ticket, please make the walk of shame up here. <laughs> All right, I'll keep announcing that forever. Uh, uh, yeah, I saw, I saw you walking up. You wanted to, you do want a ticket. Yep. <laughs> yep. Very nice. Very there nice. we go. There we go. Oh. And another. We got two. We got two. That's that's. I like your Boba Fett. Uh, or is it Django? Yeah, is it both? It's both at once. You in the right spot? I know you're in the right spot. They're looking in. You can stand in the back if you don't feel comfortable. All right, we are going to go ahead and begin. If you're walking in right now, there's going to be a line of green tickets up here, and I need you to come take one. But I'm going to, that's on you. If you want a prize, maybe, that's on you. <laughs> so, we are Alex, well, I'm Alex. And I'm Griff. And we are the Silver Light Guide, Guide to the Cosmere um, podcast. We are that. Yes, we are a podcast. Today is the National Day of Absurdity, which who has read my emails? Thank you. For a second, nobody was putting their hands up and was like, what is going on? I sent like five. Okay, so most of you know what's going on. We're going to talk about future Cosmere novels. Griff, if you'll go stand over there so of that we're kind of on both sides that's of this. That's fair, that's fair. And it's aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> because what else is there other than books? Actually, there's a lot of us talking. That's, I mean, that's the majority of it, that yeah. That's the majority of it. We like to talk. We've been around for a year and a half, and we are going to open the open programming room with our review. Now, I'm going to say one more time, oh, wow, those are great eyelashes. If you want a ticket for those people who have come on in, and they have not gotten a ticket yet, come up here, um, grab a ticket. I know it's going to be weird. It's going to be weird for all of us. I mean, it's just... But if you want a chance for a prize... <laughs> oh, tell a joke? No, no. Not today. <laughs> not today. Maybe, maybe, maybe. All right, we're going to start off. Who submitted alternate titles for Stormlight 5 in the hopes to win something? So many of you are about to be disappointed right now. <laughs> The two of you are going to be very happy if you're here. Well, technically four. Well, four, but two. Two good prizes. Fair. All right. Griff, do you want to read us off the, uh, the winner for the best alternate book title? All righty. For Stormlight 5. Yes. Now, we're going to submit these to Dragonsteel. We will probably not get a response. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, no, we'll give fine. it a shot anyway. We'll give it a shot. All right, so the uh, winner for the title of the best uh, title for the alternate title for the book was Knowledge of Worlds and Truths, uh, which was Kyle Russell. Is Kyle Russell here? Yeah. Classic. All right, so this is how this is going to work. There are six things up here that are approximately equally valued, all right? So you don't have to worry. But there's also two that are not here. One of them, and you don't have to choose it, one of them is once the Stormlight TTRPG is released, you will play a one-shot with us. Ooh, ah, I like that. Who did that? That was good. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Alternatively, the other one is you get to co-host an episode with us. Not this one, not right now, but at a later date. I would like to play the Stormlight. My man. All right. All right. So we're going to need you to email us. We also have your name because you won. Yes, All right. yes we do. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, who, cool. Okay, you go sit back down, and we're going to get the second. Yeah, good job. Very nice. We like that a lot. We've had, we've had a lot of really good entries, and some of them were just absolutely horrible. Okay. <laughs> a couple of them, yeah. yeah. Some of them were purposefully horrible, and that was wonderful. Uh, who was the runner-up for the best one? Uh, the runner-up was uh, Knowledge of Wicked Truths, which was Eric White. That was good. I like that one a lot. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, and now we have the funniest ones. Okay. Who won the funniest? Uh, the winner of the funniest was Kaladin Only Wants Therapy, which was Benjamin Ricks. <laughs> 
Who was it? <laughs> Benjamin Ricks. Benjamin Ricks? Is Benjamin Ricks here? Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope he listens to this podcast later. And we do seem to still have people lining up at the we door. Do. So. If, you, if you want to grab a ticket for a prize, if you've come in and you don't have a green ticket, come up here, show us your pretty face, and grab a green ticket. Wonderful. All right. Okay. Who was the runner-up? Uh, the runner-up was uh, Keening of Wayward Tumbleweeds, which was just Chris. No last name. Oh, no. Oh no, there's not a Chris in here that submitted that. Oh, no. oh dear. Okay, we're gonna check for those people at the end, otherwise we're gonna just draw for <clears throat> one of the prizes. So, we're gonna talk about the Cosmere books that are upcoming, to the best of our knowledge, okay? And you're gonna listen to us and maybe regret that you came to this. <laughs> and then during that time, we're going to randomly call up numbers and you're gonna come pick a prize, okay? So, that keeps you paying attention. Off your phone. Well, I mean, be on your phone if you want. It's not going to bother me. Okay, so, Cosmere Books. Yes. What do we got? Well, I mean, I think we were probably going to first talk about the first four, or the, the uh, next five in the uh, Stormlight archives. That's right. Wait, what? Well, book six through, th through ten. Oh, right. Did we check? Everybody voted. And they it did. Was wonderful. Last time you said it, that was the top That is what I said. Subject. Hold on. I don't know if it changed since then. We're going to find out. Live. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. For a long time, y'all wanted us to talk about the ghost bloods. And then you wanted us to talk about Stormlight 5. And then you wanted us to talk about books 6 through 10. And now they are all equally tied. Oh, good lord. Okay. At 97. So approximately <laughs> half of you don't really want to pay attention to what we're saying. <laughs> okay, so... Um. I guess we can start with Stormlight 6 through 10 and work on to the other subjects. That sounds good. Okay. 6 through 10. What have we got? Well, um, I believe that, I personally believe that Lyft is going to be one of the major characters. That makes sense. Who agrees with that? Okay, great. Please feel free to t uh, take a ticket. Whoever doesn't have a ticket, please uh, come on up until they're out. Uh, Okay, so Lyft is going to be a key character. Why is Lyft going to be a key character? Well, obviously her age. Okay. And the fact that while she is also uh, based off of Life Light rather than Stormlight, and apparently has some sort of interesting blessing by uh, cultivation where she can touch uh, things in the cognitive realm. Something like that. Yeah, she's able to touch her spren at the very least. She was able to climb the vines to get into places. That's only spoilers for Words of Radiance. Um, I, I feel like if they're probably, probably here, they've fine. probably read them. It's probably fine. <laughs> right. Um, we won't do any really big spoilers. I mean, we'll try to avoid that. We'll try to avoid them. We'll at the same time. We try. we try. I mean, we do say on our podcast, if you're listening to this, make sure you've read the books. Yeah, but we didn't put that in the description of the event. So well, you should have. I should have. That's on me. If I spoil something for you, I apologize. Come see me at booth 147 where we have stickers for sale. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I think that the bad guy, the, the big bad, all right, like Odin levels of bad for Stormlight 6 to 10 is going to be cultivation. <gasps> Interesting take, right? Yeah. Hot take. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Feel free to take. Yeah. Um, green for cultivation, right? Uh, hot take. Yes. Hot take. Okay. So we all know that at some point, stuff's going to happen. Uh, that, that is usually, yes. We can, all kind of, we can all kind of think about where Odium is going, all right? And it's probably not Roshar. He's probably not going to stay there, right? I mean, that was kind of the whole point of the deal. Yes, exactly. So we're going to find out next year what happens, right? Um, actually, yesterday, it was interesting. We came to this room, and there was a surprise leak in here. And <laughs> the leak was that there's going to be more rain in Stormlight 5. <laughs> That was bad. I'm sorry. Yeah, that I tried to make it for this and it didn't work. Um, okay, so cultivation is going to be the big bad because nothing, no one is opposing the actual cultivation. There's going to be too much growth. All right. This well, is, and not only that, pick. she's kind of been the mastermind behind everything. She was, I mean, you know, at the end of Stormlight Four, she was the like she didn't know no, but she was the mastermind behind Terravodium. That's true, which is the biggest spoiler there is at the I moment. I mean, you know, 
So that worked I mean, out. What was I supposed to say? You're not supposed to say anything. I think. I think oh, it is. thank you. I see. I see. Um, I think it is time for our first drawing. So <laughs> I'm going to. Thank you. Thank you. I had a random number generator pulled up. There it is. All right. Uh, the ticket numbers are between 12 and 265. So look at the last three digits of the ticket you hold. Okay. And I'm going to press this. How many times should I press the button? Four. We have a four. Ooh, ten is Stormlight. Sixteen is. I mean, there are. All right. I'm going to choose, and no one's going to know. <laughs> Has ticket 90. Last three digits. If nobody has it, I'm going to take what I brought. 090? Yeah, all okay. right. All right, come on up. Zeth Sun Sun Villano, Truthless of Shinovar, gets to pick a prize. So these are really cool dragon mugs. Those are sticker packs. These stickers we sell at our booth, all right? So if anybody wants more stickers, they're at our booth. If you don't win today, you can win using your credit card down at our booth. Does, we also do, do have, wait, wait, we do oh, have the co-host. Oh, we do have, you, you, could, you could choose to co-host an episode with us if you want. No, thank that's you. Fine. All right. That's fine. All right. <laughs> all right. Yep, okay. we got the dragon. dragon. Oh, Ooh. That was cool. That was really cool. That scared me. <laughs> okay, that was that was a pretty good take for Stormlight six through ten. Um, do you have any other hot takes for six through ten? I have one more. I have the potential idea that oh, that uh, Dalinar might end up being a minor villain. Not intentionally, but not intentionally out, okay. of, uh, out of compulsion. Okay, that makes sense. So uh, Sanderson has been asked, or has actually just told us, who the backstory characters for 6 through 10 are going to be. All right, Renarin, not, not in any particular order. Renarin, Lift, Yasna, Shirash, and Tom. Okay? But he also said he doesn't care that we know that because he can still write backstories for dead characters. So my final hot take for Stormlight 6 through 10 is that Yasna is going to be dead. Yeah, uh, do you think she's die. going to be dead from the start, or do you think she's going to die? Okay. Like, maybe maybe that will be the thing that kicks off every book. Uh, okay. All right, so we're going to move on. <laughs> Unless anybody has outstanding questions for six... Yes, you have... Yes. You, what's your theory? I think that... Hold on, hold on. I think Odium is going to throw the contest. Odium oh, the contest. Oh, okay. We're on that's, that's five. That's actually not necessarily a bad idea. That's not a bad idea. That's not a bad theory because of the what Teravangian says at the end of Stormlight Four when he's reviewing the the deal that was made. Sure. He talks about the fact that he can work with it. Hmm. So would that not then lock him to Roshar? That w I mean, not. He'd be okay with that. Okay. Okay. Yes, in the back. I I actually thought about this briefly yesterday when I was driving. No. <laughs> and the reason is the reason I want it to be, don't get me wrong, I want that line of logic to follow and us to get more of that in the second set. I think that's going to be Mistborn Era 4. I think yeah, that's, I agree. We're going to push that kind of thing to Mistborn Era 4 or maybe some interlude stuff going on. Maybe a launcher's, yes, you have a question or something. Oh, you have, he had his hand up. Did you have your hand up? Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. Okay, oh. I will repeat questions from now on. You had your hand up. Yes. Yeah. So we're getting the Carol backstories back out. Right. How far back do you think the, the Carol backstories are going to be? Is it like the, the formation of the 
Ooh, that's interesting. I definitely, I hope it would be earlier. So he, I, uh, asked, yeah. he asked, uh, we're going to get backstories for heralds. How far back do you think those backstories are going to go? Oath Pact or even further? I'm hoping further. I'm hoping further. I'm hoping further because I feel like the it's been hinting at what brought the humans to Roshar for a while. Yeah. Like we've been getting little drips and drops hints of that. And so I'm really hoping that they'll del delve into that a lot more when it comes to book, book six through ten. I agree. Okay, now we're gonna go tangent. We're gonna we're gonna pause on questions right now. Um, I have this thing where if I remember that I need to do something, I need to do it like right now, or I'm gonna forget. Uh, before we do that, before yes. we do the number generator. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry. Do we want to call up any any people that have just walked in and say to grab a ticket yeah. before we actually do the random number? If anybody's generator? walked in and does not have a green ticket, please come up to the front and grab a green ticket. If you want a prize. If you, you want, want a prize, if you want a chance fine. at a prize. Yes, if you want a chance right. at a prize. If you want a chance yeah. at a prize. <laughs> okay. Now, yeah, and just the green tickets, just take one? Yeah. All right. Now, my wife uh, sadly couldn't be here uh, in this recording because she's down at her booth. <laughs> all right. But she wanted to see all of you. So we're going to take a picture. Is anybody opposed to taking a selfie with me? Like a group selfie? I respect your privacy, but we'll also be devastated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go come on over here. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. This is going to be. Oh man. Do we My... want to turn this phone sideways? No. Uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. There, yeah, yeah, there okay. we go. Okay. On um, three, say Roshar. One, two, three. Roshar. Beautiful. Y'all are wonderful. Okay. Right. Now we're going to pick another winner. <laughs> I know. We went right into that. You weren't expecting it, were you? Okay. Um, I'm going to do 10. I'm going to do oh, 10 this time. 10? I don't remember how many I did last time. I don't. I wasn't counting. <laughs> if the last three digits on your ticket are 106, Please come up and claim a prize. Ooh, awesome. all right. And you just got it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, right. I guess you were sleeping on that now. You, you, you won. I handed you that. it in just underneath. Okay, so you okay. get to pick uh, one of the sticker packs, or this is a dragon mug. And we also have the option to co-host an episode with us. It's a, it's a dragon. Yes, you can co-host it. You have to be like a genius. I'm new. No, no, you don't, no, have, you to don't have to know genius. anything. Obviously. We're definitely not. <laughs> This is a it's a dragon mug. It's pretty cool. Yep. That is yep. understandable. All right. All right. The stickers are. <laughs> Did I say 016 or 106? You said 106. It's 106. Oh, cool. it's but I'm going to press the button until it's 016. Maybe. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, we did have a bit we wanted to do. Um, who's the most absurd? Character. Oh, yes. Because today is National Absurdity Day for those of you who've read the emails. Um, for those of you who didn't read the emails, today is just a normal day. <laughs> so, who is the most absurd character in the Cosmere and why is it Hoyd? <laughs> Counterpoint I don't necessarily think it is Hoyd. It could very possibly be Wayne. Oh, yeah. All right, we're going to put it to a vote. Oh, 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 okay. oh we have a wild card. So we're going to we're going to vote for three people, three different characters. Okay. If you think the Lopin is the most absurd character in the Cosmere, raise your hand. All right, that might be a third of you. I'm really bad at spatial reasoning. <laughs> okay, if you think Wayne is the most absurd character in the Cosmere. All right, so that definitely beat the Lopin. That definitely beat the Lopin. Um, yes, yes. You can only vote once. If you're voting twice... Shame on you. Yeah. Okay. Who thinks Hoyt is the most absurd character in the Cosmere? Ooh, I, think Wayne, I think Wayne won. I think Wayne beat it out, yeah. Wayne won. Yeah, okay. Wayne. Wayne is. We'll, uh, we'll submit that to Sanderson, too. I'm sure he'll love to hear that. Of course. Right. Um, you in the back, standing there in the corner. Yes, you. Could you look down and just make sure that the big red button is still red on the thing on the floor? Yeah? All right. OK, cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> OK. Um, storm right now. Let's go to Ghost Bloods. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, okay. Ghost Bloods. OK, because we, we have 30 minutes remaining. OK. All right. T minus 30. OK. Ghost Bloods. Who I likes the name Ghost Blood? It's a pretty good name. It's a pretty good name. Is it better than Nightblood? No. 
No, no, no blood is better. Okay, that's fair. That said, I think the ghost bloods are going to probably start playing a much larger role, considering that I feel like the, uh, obviously we know that the Mistborn eras are going to be major storytellers, and the ghost bloods are the biggest Skadrian presence on Roshar. And I agree. Since Odium is on Roshar, I feel like they're going to start playing a much okay. bigger role. Okay. That's, that's my opinion sure. on it. Sure. What do you think the purpose of Era 3 is going to be? Era 3 for... Mistborn. Mistborn? Mistborn Era 3 is tentatively titled Ghost Blood. Oh, Ghost Blood. interesting. That I was not aware of. I, I, I have told him this several times. I'm sure you have. I apologize sure you have. on behalf of my co-host. Hey, no. hey it is fine. It's I fine. can apologize on my own. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> um... Honestly, I think they might honestly find a way to transport Stormlight off of Roshar. Okay, so that'll be the big point. Yes, I think that'll be the big thing. Because I feel like with the hints that we've gotten that uh, Kelsier will be appearing more, or at least somewhat in Roshar, plus the ghost buds possibly ghost bloods possibly increased presence i feel like that's going to be a major step forward and possibly the big purpose of era three because until era four i don't really see the odium thing coming to fruition okay okay that's that's my opinion at least that's, that's my theory okay so you think a lot of the books will physically take place on Roshar? No, no. I just think that the Ghost Bloods, we're going to get hints of what they're doing on Roshar, and the big culmination in Era 3 is them being able to pull, even if not Stormlight, at least more uh, investiture from other planets. Okay. My hot take, because... That's you always have a doing. hot take. Um, and you'll not be surprised by this, given my last two. Uh... Kelsier is going to find a, figure out a way to kill Harmony. He's going okay. To Harmony, which will be Discord. Who's following that idea, right? Harmony is going to turn into Discord. They're going to have to split it. There's no way. No, yeah, no, I, I agree. will say when they kill Harmony, the intent of the shards afterwards will not be ruin and preservation. They will be similar but different okay you That's, think that they're going to turn into yes you heard it here first folks if i'm not necessarily correct, sure i agree with you oh, because yeah. well here's the thing That's when fine. we got the in in the last in the lost metal which we're not going to spoil like everything of course I'm absolutely sorry. if the, you if you'd like to leave go look at booth 147 all right it's in the corner there's stickers for sale if you follow our podcast you get a free mini sticker okay okay so i'm not necessarily saying this is definitive but when they were splitting um unity's metal or not unity uh harmony's metal it still ended up being um Adium and Lorassium? Yes, Adium and Lorassium. So I feel like if it was going to be different shards, I feel like the metals would have different purposes and would have different names. Okay. So okay. I feel like it's still going to be preservation and ruin. Okay, who thinks it's going to still be preservation and ruin? And who thinks it's going to be two different name shards? All right, well, I agree with you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we'll take a couple of questions. You, you, um, Red Jacket. Red Jacket first. Why do you say that there? Do you think that uh, Sazed Vessel will keep like preservation and preservation? No. No, and I'm glad you said the word Sazed because I need to tell you an anecdote. Uh, my wife wanted us to change rental cars, and the new rental car license plate is SZD, and I was just like, ah, oh, perfect. Okay. Question. Uh, we didn't actually answer. Did we not? No. What the, no, you did not actually answer the question. All right. Sorry. You went into the anecdote and then you left it. I am deeply sorry for that. Okay. What was the question again? The question was, do you think that Sazed will keep one of the shards and still be the vessel for it? Or do you think that it will be end up being other people? No. I think it will be other people. Okay. Do you have any theory on who it will be? It will be Wax's, like, 50th grandchild. <laughs> 50th great <laughs> grandchild, right? That's, that's, my, that's my take on that. I hope that that didn't seem satisfying. I apologize. You had a question. Yeah, I just wondered if you thought uh, if that would screw up the planet again. Ooh. Probably, at least to some extent. 
I, uh, whether right. or not that would screw up the planet again if yep. the, if the harmony was slain and the shards were split into two again. Which reminds me, what do Odium and Ruin have in common? Uh, like them to cause trouble? They want Moash. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was good. Oh, finally, thank you. This is wonderful. We need to do more of these. You have a question in the beanie. Okay, so there is like. Okay. Will says it splinter himself if he sees that he is doing harm to the planet. I think, I think, do, do you want to go? I personally don't think so. Okay. You don't I, think he'll splinter himself? I don't think he'll splinter himself, no. Because I feel like Sazid, one of the flaws that I believe that Sazid has is that he always, he very often felt righteous in his purpose. Mm. And that he was always approaching things from the correct direction. Even as Harmony, he always tries to talk about how he must keep the balance of things. He must let things you know, develop even if they're terrible because he also is doing the good things. So I do not actually think that he will realize that he is following the wrong path as he descends into discord. Okay. I'm going to take it a different direction. I'm going to say he would want to, but he would be unable to because of the op opposing powers of the shards. Okay. Uh, we're going to do one more question. We're not going to do anybody who's asked a question before. This person has an arm and somebody pointing to his arm. <laughs> so we've got hints like across a few recent books that in the future there's going to be some sort of one that is going to be on those shards. Oh, yeah. Who do you think is pushing on that? Discord or Odia? So we've seen that there's going to be there's war between Roshar and Skadriel. Who's pushing that? We've seen in the future that we've that is going to come about. about. Yes. Uh, who's pushing that? Odium or what did you say? What was the last part? Discord. Discord. Ooh. Uh, I think my personal take on that is that neither of them is pushing it. I think that is just humans being humans, and it's going to be straight up Cold War, and it's going to be like they're talking past each other, right? They need couples therapy, <laughs> and they're not getting it. And, and so they're just kind of like, well, I'm going to take this planet over here. Oh, wait, you're already there. That sucks. I'm going to go take this planet. That said, theory, I think theory. Kelsier is going to be pushing for it. Oh, OK. Kelsier, Kelsier might push for it. OK, we're going to do another prize. That's pretty good. That's pretty Pretty good deal. Um, oh, wait. Mm. Oh, what? Okay. That's not the information I wanted. Oh, alas. Okay. Um. I'm glad that you just made vague comments yes. that all of us could hear and pick explain nothing. Between, pick a number. Look, seven. I'm going to press the button seven times. <laughs> If the last three digits of your ticket are 044. 044? Four, four. Yeah, all right. Come on up. You get a uh, sticker pack because people really coveted those dragon nuts. Yeah. yeah. Clap for random chance. All right, all right. You got the uh, Roshar one, I think? Yes, you did. You got Roshar. I hope you appreciate those. I worked really long hours <laughs> straining my eyes <laughs> on my iPad. OK. Uh, what do we do now? Uh, do we want to do uh, Mistborn? Wait, what's the other subject? Because it was Ghost Bloods, it was. Oh, so my five. So okay. The first thing I'm going to say about this is right. that we are actively getting together a group of content creators, and we're going to put out an episode in the near future before Stormlight 5 comes out. Uh, and we're going to theorize. And we're going to create bingo cards. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah, all right. And we're going to do something with bingo cards where everybody will be able to get a bingo card and we'll do a thing, OK? That would be a lot so, of fun. Just look for that in the future. Uh, if you're just coming in now, if you'd like to grab a ticket from the uh, table, ah, yeah, you know you want to. Absolutely. Don't grab that one, though. That one's already been taken. Yeah, and I didn't take it off the table. Actually, I'm going to put that over here with the other two. That makes perfect sense. Stormlight 5, OK. Is everybody okay with like full stormlight spoilers? Yeah. Is anybody super opposed? Because the door's over there. <laughs> I would not have said that if anybody was actually opposed. I would have been respectful. All right. I just wanted to. <clears throat> so, question yeah. before we get on to anything else. Okay. Do you think Moash is blind permanently? I do. I do think Moash is 
born permanently because it was just too cool uh, what Navani did. That was it. That's that's fair. I that's agree. fair. Yep. Does anybody think he's not born permanently? Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay. Do, do, honor, do honor blades do healing? Do they give the person healing when they have strong light? Healing, but it's reduced. Thank you. Um, That's a good point, yeah, honestly, because Kaladin's okay. scars didn't come off until sure. he yeah, that accepted sense. that. So. Right, right. Wow. This is so much better than Google. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Stormlight 5. Um, I mean, the big one, the big question is who's going to win the fight, right? Right. Who's going to win the fight? I think we should probably pose that as a question to the audience. Well, I mean, uh, we had one theory on it already. We did have one theory. Who thinks there's going to be more than two options? Who thinks that Dalinar is going to win? Da okay. Oh, that's, fair. Yeah, that's, a, that's a good point. Oh, I guess I have to think ahead. Okay, Dalinar wins. Odin wins. Draw. All right, so there's three. All right, it's not that big of a... Okay, Dalinar wins. Who thinks Dalinar is going to win? Straight up. All right. Okay, y'all are the hopeful bunch. <laughs> Who thinks Odin is going to win? Oh, we have a lot of pessimists. I mean, no, it's fine. It's not actually pessimistic. Who thinks there's going to be a draw? I personally think there's going to be a draw. He's going to do some sort of little wiggle room thing. He's going to set it up in chapter one, and then it's going to come true in chapter 500. And actually, that would allow him to accomplish what he wanted, because if it's a draw, then it fulfills neither of the requirements, and so therefore he's free to go. I agree with that. Does Dalinar have to die if there's a draw? I don't think so. What if they both die? I mean, that... And then down on Well, here's the thing. The shard not. can't die. The host can, but the shard can't. Well, no, no, no. His champion. Oh, oh he's champion. the draw part. Like, how yeah, do you I get see. to the draw? The draw is both of them killing each other or both of them not killing each other? I don't know. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess we're going to have to find out. Like, yeah, probably. Year from now. <laughs> you have a, a question and people are pointing to you behind. Yes. I think it depends on who. Uh, the, the champion is that Dalinar has to fight and my hot take is that it's Renarin. Oh no. Oh, that would be rough. So, so he thinks this gentleman, this <clears throat> man over here thinks that Renarin is going to be Odium's champion. That's his hot take. Uh, I would have maybe agreed with that if we did not have the event happen where Renarin's vision did not come true. Uh, hmm? Well, yeah, absolutely. But I mean, like, we had the whole dead space thing on the, the diagram, like the expanded diagram that Odium showed. But I like personally hurt that he suggested Renarin would be <laughs> Odium's champion. Not My friend over here is a truth watcher, by the I way. I am a truth watcher. Are you truth watchers? Okay. Nobody else gets a say. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> we'll go through the whole list real quick. Windrunner, who's taking the official quiz. If you haven't taken the official quiz, it's on his website. Windrunner? All right. Uh, Skybreaker? Only a couple. OK. All right. Uh, yeah. We see you, Zeth. We see you. Dustbringer? Dustbringer. Releaser? I know y'all prefer the term releaser. Wow. Oh, okay. we one. got one. We got right. one with the explosion. Boom. OK. Uh, what's after Dustbringer? It would be um, uh, Edge Dancer. Edge Dancer, edge yes. Dancer. Yep, Edge Dancers. OK. All right. Uh, and then Truth Watcher. Nope. Truth Watcher. Yep. Is it? Progression. Progression. Progression is. Yeah, Truth Watcher. Truth yes, it is Truth Watcher. Right. Yeah. Yes, you All are right. absolutely correct. Sounds right. <laughs> okay. All right. Light Weaver. Truth Watcher. Right. Light Weaver. Light Weaver. Light Weaver. Okay, y'all. Right. We see you. Not doing a good job. Else callers. <laughs> All right. That's him. Okay. Cool. Cool. Uh, Will Shaper. Nice. Represent. Okay. Stone Woods. Cool. Cool. Wasn't expecting Bondsmiths. Very rare. All in right. Fact, I'm pretty sure it's impossible. Okay, now, <laughs> if you'd like a keychain based on your radiant order, please see us in booth 147. <laughs> <laughs> we worked really hard. They say bookworm because the people who follow our podcast are bookworms. I would also like to specify the worm is W Y R M. That's not right. W O R M. Of course, because it's Dragon Steel. It's right. 
There you go. Okay. Where were we? Uh, book five. Right. This the guy suggested New Rome was going to betray yes. all of us. Who else could be Odium's champion, though? I mean, potentially one of the singers. Mo- 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 a lot of people are saying Moash. They should be saying Vi. All right. You have a hand. Okay. G- what? Yeah. Gavin, what? That is, that is just a trash take. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that is a trash take. I'm not sorry. That's horrible. If you're coming in for the first time, we do have 15 more minutes. If you'd like to come grab a green ticket for a chance to win a prize. Um, Okay, who else could be the champion? Vyers, Vyers, all right, okay, yes. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, L, L. The, Whoever uh, L is, yeah. Yeah, I liked his epigraphs at the end of uh, Rhythm of War. Those are radiant, just so cool. All right, you have a question, you have a hand. One of the heralds? Oh, oh that's not about it. Elysium. Why would you say that? <laughs> <laughs> not a bad take, though, honestly. That's not a bad take. Who? Which one? One of the... I'm sure. Clearly not... Um, oh, I'm drawing a blank on his name. The one that just came back. Ne- Tom? Tall, yeah, Tom? not tall. No, that's what I'm saying. Not tall. Not yeah, no, I'm saying absolutely okay. not tall. So, Ishar. Who thinks Ishar could be Odium's champion? So Kaladin and Buddy Cop Zeth would go to Shinovar, grab Ishar, bring him back, and accidentally make him Odium's champion. No? No? No. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Okay. Um, what Nail. about the one that... Um, Nail. Who thinks Nail could be Odium's champion? Just upholding the law. He's like, you know what? You're right. You're right. We should kill Dalinar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to be Nail, honestly. Okay. Then, Okay. I just, I don't feel like his, his despair at the creation of the Everstorm, I don't think he would side with Odium That's regardless. Fair. Also, too much chaos. Too much chaos. Do you have a hand? Uh, could be Chana. Yes. Yep. I, Chanarak? Yeah. Uh, is that... Was that the one that Dalinar met in the... No, that's the one that is theorized to be Shalon's mother. Oh, right. Right. Which which order is she the is she the light weaver? Dustbringer. Des, is she? <laughs> okay. All right. Somebody else had a hand. That's true. Collect. Mm, okay. Okay. And Collect was kind of the one trying to convince some of the others that they should just go. That Tong can hold it. That's true. Yeah. So. Okay. That'd be. Okay, we'll do one more. We'll do... Collect is in lasting integrity. I feel like there's a way that it could maybe get back. Yeah. I mean, anybody can move around, so it can... In 10 days? Sure. I mean, it took them, like, what, two or three weeks to get there? Ah, there's a lot... Man, whoever said the Heralds, that was a good take. That was a <laughs> good job. All right. We're going to do another drawing. I think we did have one back in the corner there. We had... Uh, okay. Who? Who had Very there? back corner. Did you have a hand up? No. Nope. Okay, never mind. All right. Sorry for putting you on the spot. <laughs> um, I'm going to press it five times. One, two, three, four, five. Does anybody have two, five, seven? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. Fantastic. We have sticker packs and we have co-hosting. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Okay. So this is Mistborn. This is uh, Secret Projects, uh, and then this is Spren. Yep. He's Spren going for it the is. He's going for the Spren. Okay. Uh, we got about ten minutes remaining before we're told that we have to to Um Let's go. Could you try again? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> that worked out well. So we talked about the three. Do you have anything more to say about Stormline 5? I don't really think so. Yeah, neither do I. I think the draw was a good idea. I honestly think that might actually play out. Uh, we have hands up, however, so we might have theories. Um, what are your thoughts on Shalom's the arrow that Paul is she the bomb? What do I think about Shalon's mom being a herald that got killed and then broke 
causing the, the actual, the true desolation. I 100% agree with that theory. If that is not the theory, I mean, I don't like to think too deeply. I don't know why I have a podcast about the Cosmere. But if that's not the case, I'm going to be devastated because I think that would just be so cool. It would just be so cool, right? Because the unreliable narrator means that uh, anything Sanderson has said to us could be a lie, and the fact that the heralds can't reproduce could be a lie, right? It's true. It's true. Okay. Um, maybe we'll just. I believe we had someone right here who was very patient with yes. the fans. We're going to speculate about where the unmade that Thadikar is chasing goes. Actually, yes, I should have included this in the 6 through 10. So Thadikar shows up and he's like, yo, where's Bayad and Mishram? Right? Because Bayad and Mishram made the bodies for the singers, maybe? Am I remembering that right? Anybody want to oppose what I just said? Yeah, you want to oppose what I just said, or you have a thing? Oh, listeners. Okay, thank you. Yes. That's right. Yeah, no, that's right. Yep. yep, we made a whole episode about that, and I don't remember anything. <laughs> um, I think that's going to be a major point in at least two or three of the book, the six through ten, um, is trying to re is trying to undo some sort of horrible thing that happened with Bay Auto Mishram. Um, can't get too specific because those haven't been written yet. <laughs> <laughs> that probably doesn't answer your question satisfactorily, but I am really looking forward to seeing where that goes. So we know that Collect really wants the Bay Auto Mishram to be free as well. Yes. Is that why Thydekar and the Ghost Collect are looking for it? You know what? Probably. I, so uh, Collect wants Bay Auto Mishram to be free. Is that why Thydekar and the Ghost Bloods are looking for him? We know that. Uh, Kalek and Thadakar are buddy-buddy, right? They're kind of spiritual, like, hey, we can't leave. We want bodies. Um, makes yeah, sense, yeah. That makes complete and utter sense. Yep. Um, in the back. Um, question earlier on, uh, on Mother being a herald in the prologue that Brandon was posted. Uh, I was thinking so Father Ben, like, uh, at the time, he got a lot of hope. Yes. So the timing of Shalon's mother dying and the Stormfather being like, oh my god, a hero died. Uh, <laughs> they match up. Uh, they do, what, yes. Is what he's saying. So that, that's what gives credence to the uh, theory. That's why I'm fully on board. Fully on board. Yes. So, like, do you think that Kaladin ran do you we'll think that throw. Paladin or anybody else will swear the fifth ideal in the fifth book? You know what? That makes too much numerical sense to not happen now. I mean, yeah, honestly, with it being the fifth book and the fifth ideal, That's I don't right. really think... I think we will probably see Kaladin swear it, to be honest. I think so. Since I think. Now, here's a question that has absolutely nothing to do with the plot. Do we think the Kaladin will get a love interest? No. <laughs> <laughs> who, thinks, who thinks Kaladin's going to get a love interest? Raise your hand. Okay, who hopes Kaladin's going to get a love interest? <laughs> All right, so there's a big gap between what we think is going to happen and what we want to happen, and Sanderson is going to be the demise of us all. I'm going to press this. We have, to, we have to give out two more prizes. We don't have to give away the co-host thing. That's uh, true, yeah. Because that's, we make the rules. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm going to press it twice. That is my favorite number. One, one, one. Who has the angel number? All right. Guess the sticker pack is mine. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, fine. Just get a number, their number. Is it here? No, I don't know. No, somebody definitely took it. Maybe they left. <sighs> that would have been such a cool bonding moment. <laughs> 81. Zero eight, zero eight one. one. Ah, congrats. <laughs> All right, we got schedule and secret projects. All right. He got the cool void that all of you are going to want once you see our booth. <laughs> okay, we have just a few more minutes. Uh, what do we normally do at the end of our podcasts? Well, we typically have the sign off. Yeah, we don't want to do that yet. Uh, but I mean, we, we normally just keep talking until we don't have anything to talk about anymore. Shoot. So. <laughs> okay, conspiracy theory time. <laughs> Who has cons conspiracy theories about Cosmere? You do. Hot bottom mission tape here to be Okay. Uh, 
lot of this room is in the state in Shalon's childhood home because Shana Rock was guarding her. And that's why Shalon is not just trauma when she walks back past the state in like a moment where she can't look at it. I think it's because there's an unmade in there. Okay. Hot take is that there's an unmade in Shalon's child in home. Chanarak was guarding it, and it is Bayana Mishram. That is a hot take. That is, my brain's done for the day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you go, you go do whatever. I, I mean, I can see it. What's your dad? <laughs> I mean, I guess we don't really know the size. It could be any, any I mean, size. considering they were a fairly wealthy family, I think the safe would be... It, yeah, they like, they did have an estate, so, like, I feel like it painting? would be... Wasn't it behind a painting? It was, like, a picture. Yeah, okay. I mean, that, we don't know the size of the picture, though. I mean, if it's a very large portrait, it could still... <laughs> Well, I mean, yeah. like, if it's a life-size portrait of two people, then it could easily store a fairly large safe behind it. Okay. Well, that is, if that's accurate, please email us uh, at guide to the cosmia at gmail.com. If you have any questions at any point, uh, email us that. But email us that, and I'll send you all of the stickers um, <laughs> for free. But that is have... a true thing. Yes. So I really, really like that. Uh, in cool. Uh, you think he's going to be a POV character? Give me book five. Five. Do we think that Zeph is going to be a POV character in book five? I think so. Yeah. A lot. So he's, he's definitely the backstory character. Uh, we do know that for sure. Um, there are chapters that Sanderson has sent out of that specific backstory. I don't know. Maybe. I think we're going to see him progress as a skybreaker. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Zeth should be. I mean, do you think Zeth's going to take a bullet for Kaladin? Ooh. I just hurt somebody. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. That's that's an interesting take. It might actually. He could take a bullet for Dalinar. He could straight up fly back in time. Well, even just, I mean, the fact well, is he's sworn himself to Dalinar. Like, yeah. That's the person he decided to follow. So I could absolutely see him, even potentially in the duel, I could see him potentially taking the blow for Dalinar. Okay. Uh, for those of you who decided to spend your time with us here instead of at the uh, Brotherwise game, um, Games in the Cosmere, I do have a uh, mole in the audience who is sending me information. <laughs> They're going to have a Mistborn deck building game. And then uh, Shards of Creation, a trick-taking card game. Hobby game style. Oh, that could be fun. Right? Okay, so you heard it here second because they heard it in first. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, we are going to do... Yeah, I was about to say, should we do the... We, we need to give one more prize away. So we're not going to take any more hands. Uh, we are not Ulam. Thank you for chuckling. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, um, I'm going to press this once. 037. Oh, 037? All right, you get the, uh, yeah. Mistborn. Mistborn, yeah, schedule. Okay, so we are going to now do our sign off. That. I didn't really need to prepare you for. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so until next time, uh, don't panic, world hoppers. Life before death, strength before weakness, and being absurd before destination. <laughs> all right, thank, thank you all you so, so much, much for coming. <laughs> so we're we'll not stop talking to me. We're at booth 147. If you need reality icons, if you need Delver eyes, if you don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. 147 down in the corner, Civil Light Guide of Cosme. Thank you again so much. I'm looking for the con. Please stop by. Show us you follow us. We'll give you a mini sticker for your badge. Thank you. We have Sophrena. We have Rainbow Doom Slug. We have Normal Doom Slug. Okay, if you have three people show us, you get one sticker each. <clears throat> Question. Yeah. If you read this number, does that mean that uh, I get to be part of the co-host? I'd be down to talk about my Renarin theory. Yes.
Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have it mapped out. I have events. I want. I want. I want to hear all about this. I'm going to email you right now. Okay. What's your email? N i c k y. N i c k y. T u d s. T u d s. At gmail.com. At gmail.com. Okay. okay. My name's Nick. Nick. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Yeah. One question for you guys. Yeah. Um, I don't, know if this one's been, I don't know if this one's been done to death already or not, but okay. just the idea that the humans are the bad guys. Yeah, oh, um, yeah. yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's been done to death just because all the fauna on Roshar is... Right, oh, right, yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah. The humans definitely came from uh, Ashen. Ashen. Yeah, the Tranquiline yeah. Halls. Yeah, no, they, if you they're follow absolutely... That. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Nate. All right, I sent you an email, so we'll follow up with that. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Uh, Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Jacqueline. Oh, yeah. Nice sticker meet, winner yeah. over yeah. here. Sticker winner. Yes. Very nice. So he was actually wondering. He was a little nervous. Um, What's up? If you could switch his stickers for the co-host. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's fine. Cool. Uh, Since nobody chose it. Yeah, no. Absolutely. Yeah. Fantastic. Music you hear is part three, The Spirit, from Zavadilla's The Music of Elantris, produced by B-Roll Records, available now on Apple Music, Spotify, and most music providers. If you like what you hear, and you want others to hear it as well, please leave a rate and review. It really helps us get more listeners. 